Many cancer patients going through chemotherapy. The side effects can be devastating. From fatigue to nausea, these patients are faced with a tough fight. But one side effect may longer be such a big worry. KTK's Alexa Vogue right now joining us live from our news update center with more on that. Yeah, Neil, of all the anxieties that come with the chemotherapy regimen, probably one of the worst, especially for women, is losing your hair. It's something no patient is excited about, and now there may be a way to prevent or even stop this from happening. It's usually the first or second question asked by patients told they need chemotherapy. Am I going to lose my hair? Some patients uh, value their hair to such a degree that it's a huge consideration as to whether or not to take chemotherapy and maybe the primary consideration. Hair loss is a devastating side effect of treatment that is often overlooked. But I have had people who have refused chemotherapy because of hair loss. For women especially, your hair can define you. If I'm having a good day, hair day, I feel sexy, I feel powerful, I feel beautiful. Robin Ross is a 10-year breast cancer survivor. She said it wasn't about vanity. She didn't want want to lose her hair because she didn't want people to feel sorry for her. The number one thing I looked forward to most was being around people that didn't know I was on cancer treatment. And now there may be a way to stop this distressing side effect. U.S. researchers are beginning a clinical study to determine if a new cap could prevent this loss. It's called a scalp chill or a cold cap. It slows the rate at which cells in the scalp absorb blood, thus reducing the amount of toxic chemicals that can reach hair follicles. Does it work? Overall, the study have been done. Definitely there is decreased hair loss, maybe not total prevention of hair loss, but the, you know, people will not have bowl heads. But there is a downside. Some oncologists say if the treatment isn't flowing to the hair, it also wouldn't reach the cancer cells if you had them on your scalp.